Alright, this video is about the aircraft mini light controller. First, going to go through the basic anatomy of it. Uh, first, we have the programming button. Then, we have the infrared sensor for the remote control for programming. Next, we have the headers, which we uh, connect the LEDs to, um, the wires that lead to them. Next is the potentiometer for adjusting the flash rate, and then the speaker. And then the lights to tell you what um, mode you're in. Um, basic operation is going through. Now, this is actually uh, changing programming modes. Um, the first mode is a debugging mode just to turn all your lights on to make sure they work. You hold the button down for just a second, and the lights blink to show you're in that mode. Then to get out of the mode, um, you just briefly hold down the button, and the unit resets itself, and it goes back to normal operation. Then in the programming mode, same thing, only you hold down the button longer until the other light blinks. And once you're in programming mode, you can program it. We'll go into that later. And to exit, it's the same thing. You can hit the button, or you can use the power button on the remote control. To reset the unit back to all lights on, default setting, you hold down the button for about five seconds, and the unit will chime and reset itself. Basic operation uses a potentiometer. It changes the flash, the flash rate. Um, you need to find a small screwdriver to adjust it um, to slow down the rate. You turn it counterclockwise. And this doesn't adjust the, uh, the quickness of the strobe. It just adjusts the period of the, of the strobe. And to speed it up, you turn it clockwise. Okay, adding wires is pretty simple. It's just a matter of, first of all, making sure that the screw is fully loosened. Then you insert the wire. The red is generally always toward the light section of the board, toward the switch. And then you clamp it down.